Good morning, YouTube. This is Melody, Miss Melody 1970. And um, this is a twofold collective haul video from Michael's and Joann's and Dollar Tree and AC Moore with one small Marshall's item. Um, and the other part of this video is this is also a, a video response for Josie Webb 82. I hope it's Josie Webb 82. I always just call her Josie. Anyway, hello Josie. She's doing a give a giveaway challenge where you um watch her videos and each video has like a little step or something for you to follow, kind of like a treasure hunt type video and um or challenge I should say. And you don't have to make anything. You just kind of follow whatever, you know, her steps are. And one of the first steps is to make a video showing um, like your next haul or what you've hauled, I guess, recently. So let me begin. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree the other day to get some packaging envelopes because they have those ones where you get two for a dollar. And um, they're pretty good envelopes. And... I went down the craft area because I always go to the craft area to see if there's anything new. And they had some new birds, or new to me, I should say. This was the only bird. This is the bird that I found about a month ago, maybe. And um, I really, really like him. And I don't know if he's going to fit for what I had an idea for. But I bought him anyway because I figured he was so cute. And the birds at um, AC Moore and Michaels were like $2.99 and $3.99. So, you know, for a dollar, why not? Well, when I went back um, another time, no more birds. Everyone had grabbed all the birds in the little um, nest that you guys have seen. Well, the other day, which was Friday, they had more birds. And they had this one who I thought was the most unique because he has like canvas type wings and he's brown and I love the earth colors. And then they had this one and they put something on him to make his wings look like they have texture. So I thought that was cute. There was also I want to there was also an orange orangey type bird and I think a green one. But this was like the most adorable thing ever. Look at these two little fat twin birds. I shouldn't call them fat. I'll call them. They are fluffy. They are pleasantly plump. And they are just too cute. So, oh, and make sure when you go to the registers, if you do find some. Um, one, I bought two packs and one wasn't taped. So one of my birds kind of flew the coop and fell off and I just happened to look down and I caught him and stuck him back on the cart. So you know you got to get your 50 cent bird in. Then they had some more um, some new dimensional stickers. Um, I didn't like the other ones they had but these were very vibrant and pretty and they are in colors that I like so I want to use these for some ATCs or possibly some cards. Marissa had shown in one of her videos um, I guess out in California where she lives, their Dollar Trees get quite a bit of really awesome items. Ours doesn't get nearly any of the things um, the people from the California area seem to show on theirs. But they finally got the um, bookmarks. The metal bookmarks with the jewels and the um, butterflies. I didn't pick up any of the jewels because, you know, butterflies are my thing. So I went straight to those and zapped them up. And then there's this one. And this is really so pretty that, and it's on more of a clip, kind of like a paper clip, that, you know, I probably won't even really have to pop the back of it off and still be able to use it in a project. And I may just leave it as is and put it in my little, um, shadow box thing with all my different jewels and arty cakes but anyway i was really happy to get those over in their little decorative section i found these and i thought these would be really pretty to alter by putting some ribbons and some roses around them and it would just look really pretty and shabby chic because it's you know the color's already done for you so all you got to do is add your ribbons and your your roses or whatever and then they had um they had two more styles 
but I didn't like them. And then they had another style with kind of like etchings in it, but I didn't like them. I liked, I liked the smooth finish and I liked the lip of these. So I picked those up. They also had, um, what do you call these? Snow globes with angels in them. And my little angel, once I got him home, I noticed that he had a little chip on his nose. But you know what? Um, we're not all perfect. So he's just my little, I don't know, he's my little everyday angel. I mean, you know, hey, he's got chinks in his armor too. So there you go. And what I want wanted him for is because I want to do an altered project of some sort. I had started this box. And so I'm thinking... I may adhere him to this box and put roses and blah 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 around it and some more blah blah blah. But then I had a brainstorm. Remember this glass from um, it's kind of like a Sunday glass ice cream glass and it's really thick from one of my um, forays into thrifting. I think the first time I went thrifting. What if I adhere him to that? And then do ribbons and doodads and etc etc so somehow or another this little guy will go on an altered project but I thought you know for a dollar come on why not so at AC Moore they had um, some clearance ribbons that they were clearing out on their ribbon layout and this one is let's see five yards and it's wired and it's a really pretty deep emeraldy tealy green and I want to try and make some of those scrunchy ribbons um, that Recollections and Prima makes and they had this big roll of satin and I want to try scrunching it and um, I thought it was just a regular size roll but if you look in there there's gobs and it is 15 yards so I got gold I got mauve and then I got this really pretty green that um has some teal and some blue tones to it. 15 yards for $1.99. I thought that was pretty good. And then there's, I got some pink wired ribbon as well. And I found some really pretty chocolate. I get back a little bit, maybe you can see. That's really pretty. I also want to try um wetting the ribbon and scrunching it up and seeing if I can get the kind of effect you get with the um, seam binding. And I got gold of the wired ribbon. So that was pretty cool. Moving on to Joann's, I went in there. I forgot what I went in there for. But anyway, um, where they have been having those rolls of the dollar crocheted ribbon, they only had two rolls left and I had already purchased that style. But they had these little bags of eyelet and you get let's see you get one yard for a dollar and i thought that was pretty nice this one i thought was neat because as you can see it's not very big eyelet and then they had this one so i ended up kind of basically with three different sizes of eyelet and they were a dollar each so i thought that was cool they had a lot of clearance trims because um, the Joann's that I've in my town is really small and dinky, but it looks like they're trying to remodel and get more modern. Anyway, they had um, a lot of their trims over in their drapery section were on clearance. And these were the ones that were $1.97 a yard. So I got the black. That's really pretty. And then I got this kind of bronzy goldish color I got some of this this reminds me of flapper fringe and it's in an ivory cream color I think this stuff is called frog frog something or whatever um, I got mauve got a yard of that I got a yard of this beautiful green sea foamy green eggplant let's see compare that to the mauve so you can see so there you go and lime green I love lime green and I got white so they're a dollar ninety seven a yard and um, Walmart doesn't sell anything like that so I didn't think that was too bad of a price 
and let's see this is now this stack here is Michael's and they had the new spring Sizzix stuff that they had on one of the little display islanders. They uh, clearanced it down to just about half price or whatever because this was originally $19.99 and not quite half price but um, this one was on clearance for $11.99 and they only had two so I went ahead and grabbed it and it's quite large as you can see and so I thought that was a pretty good deal. This um, pink cutout here this was in another set I think you got three or four different kind of flowers or flourishes it was also on clearance but I didn't purchase it and this one is a Dina designs and it's um, from their new spring 2013 and I got some creatology air dry clay because I want to try and make um, some little charms or something and the reason I picked that up is because I had found at Marshall's all of these different spring and butterfly related cookie cutters it's called flowers and butterflies and it was $5.99 and what I'm thinking is once I flatten out the clay to cut them out with the cookie cutters and then I will have various butterflies and shapes to paint and color so that went hand in hand with that. Josie, Josie Webb had shown um, that she had gotten some Studio G stamps and I had not seen them in Michaels or Joann's or AC Moore. And this particular time when I went to Michaels, they had the same ones that she had shown. And so I snatched them up because there was only like two of each style. So I got the mustaches. I got the, um, little borders that look like washi tape and at my Michaels right now this week anyway they were a dollar they also had the new Studio G pins and um, Nadine TX mentioned that they were really great so I may check back and look into getting um, the earth tone colors they had the notes and the arrows the clouds I really like that one sunshine and happiness and I really like the fan it reminds me of the old vintage fans and this was really cute a dollar for let's see 10 cards and envelopes in craft paper and they look like they are three by three so I thought that was really really cute that's the scallop and then this is just the square cut and they had the cameo make your own cameo which reminds me of the Barbie emblem and they had these tiny baby keys and I had wanted this and wanted this and um, it sold out really fast all the Heidi swap stuff had sold out super fast and finally they replenished the Heidi swap so I used my 40% off coupon on the file folders so that's my collective haul it looks like a lot but it really isn't and this again is a video response to Josie Webb 82 as well um, challenge giveaway so you guys go check out Josie she's a great person really nice super sweet and I hope you saw something that you haven't seen before and I hope you can find it in your area thanks for watching bye bye